Hi, I'm Cindy Moline, CEO of Back to Your Root Soil Solutions. Since 2006, we've worked with producers to grow better food. It all starts with healthy soil. To make the process to creating healthy soil easy to understand, we are rolling out the ABCs of soil health in a series of videos. These videos are to help describe the steps we use to get the soil to come to life and gain efficiency. Check the website for more information. A is for air, the starting point for creating healthier soil. Ideally, soil is made up of 45% soil particles, minerals and nutrients, 5% organic carbon, including the humus and the soil microbes, 25% water and 25% air. Historically, soil scientists and agronomists focused on the mineral content, the soil textures, the horizons, then moved into looking at carbon numbers and most recently the microbial populations, balances and activity. Rarely does anyone start a conversation with, how much oxygen do you have in your soil? The takeaway? Lack of air caused by compaction and loss of soil structure is the biggest limiting factor in soil health. For optimum soil health, soil needs to have the capacity to breathe. High pressure systems can push atmospheric air into the soil, but the soil must be porous and structured in order for this to occur. Atmospheric air is made up of 78% nitrogen and 21% oxygen. To tell if your soil is compacted, there's two ways to check it out. A soil penetrometer is an easy way to check the soil pressure. Take the probe and slowly push the probe into the soil until the gauge reads 200 psi. Stop and measure the depth of the probe. Then continue pushing until the probe hits 300 psi and measure the depth of this as well. Why 200 and 300 psi? Soil microbes begin to fail when the soil pressure exceeds 200 psi. 300 psi is the level where feeder roots can no longer push their way through the soil. The second method is a shovel. Dig up a shovel full of dirt and lay it on a flat surface. As you look over the sample, make notes of the depth of the soft, friable soil. Look at the depth where the feeder roots stop and identify the change in the soil structure between the soft, friable soil, known as the aerobic zone, and the hard plated soil that indicates anaerobic conditions. Sometimes these levels will split apart. Look for the presence of plant residue and how deep it is found in the sample. You can smell the soil at the top and the bottom of the sample to see if there is a difference. Look for the presence of earthworms, beetles, nematodes, and other soil life. All these details will help you identify your soil health status. When it comes to developing soil health, this step is often overlooked. It is vital to have aerobic soil when trying to support soil life and grow nutrient-dense plants. Aerobic beneficial microbes need oxygen. Many plant metabolic functions require oxygen and nutrients need oxygen to become plant available.